After traveling in Latin America for five months, we have now reached our last country of our trip, which is no other than Mexico. We'll be spending one month exploring the beauty of this country, visiting several different destinations. And I now welcome you to join the journey exploring Mexico together. In this video, you'll get to join me to the beautiful Puerto Escondido, which is a popular beach destination. During our time there, we got to have the most magical encounter with some wild dolphins, visit beautiful beaches and enjoy some great food whilst staying at this lovely little hotel celebrating my boyfriend's birthday. Hello everyone, my name is Yannika and welcome to this video. Yesterday we arrived to the beautiful Puerto Escondido and because it is my boyfriend's birthday today, I checked us into a bit of a nicer place than what we've usually been staying at during this trip. We have this beautiful hotel with a swimming pool, our own little hut with quite a spacious room. There's nice little places where you can hang out here, different hammocks and stuff. And we're also located really close by the beach so I thought this is the perfect place for to come to celebrate his birthday and his wish for his birthday was to relax at the moment he's actually just having a massage out in the garden that I had booked for him I thought that would be the perfect way to start his birthday and yeah after rules massage is done I also have a massage booked for myself I actually thought when I was booking that we could get the massage at the same time but unfortunately they do it like one by one and yeah I'm super excited to be here I hope you guys will enjoy joining along After our relaxing massages and great breakfast, we mostly ended up spending the day relaxing at our hotel. Cheers! And it was actually so nice to have a bit of a slower day in such a beautiful environment, enjoying each other's company and just chilling. In the evening we've come to a popular area here in Puerto Escondido known as La Punta. This neighborhood is especially popular amongst backpackers and has a very laid-back atmosphere. <laughs>
We've now come to one of the most iconic beaches here in Puerto Escondido. This is the beach that at least I always, when I Google Puerto Escondido or like look it up on Instagram or whatever, this is the spot that you always see a bunch of pictures of. It's supposed to be really beautiful. So as you can see, down at the beach, it's semi-crowded and we just saw the waves really come quite far off and some people's bags went in the water and everything. So we found this little spot <laughs> with two little benches here on like the top. And yeah, we decided to bring our stuff here. At least the waves won't hit us all the way up here. And it's kind of nice to have our stuff on a bench versus having it on the sand. There's also those rocks there that I first thought could be a good option, but I saw the waves hit even over those rocks, so. There is also a lot of sun beds that I think you can rent out, but we're only here for an hour or two just to chill for a little bit, so I don't think it's worth it right now. But if I would spend the whole day here, I probably would do that. And yeah, I'm sorry, I look so sweaty, but it is so hot here. And even when just sitting, I'm sweating, it's crazy. suddenly deep did you guys see that that was a puffer fish just here by the beach wow oh, the water feels so nice are looking for the perfect spot where to watch the sunset in Puerto Escondido, then I definitely recommend that you come and check out Mirador Las Tortugas. And if you're wondering why, well, I think these views speak for themselves. It was then time for our dolphin watching tour. And I'm sorry if the footage is a bit shaky. Um, it's just simply because the boat we were in was moving very, very fast. But during our tour, we got to see much more actually than just dolphins like turtles and marlins. Uh -huh. So funny. The tour was absolutely amazing and I can highly recommend it. We got to see so many dolphins and what I really appreciated about this tour was that it wasn't like in some other places where you have a bunch of boats just chasing and cornering the dolphins. No, we took our time first looking for them and once we found some dolphins they ended up actually following us and they were playing in the current and waves created by the boat. The dolphins were also not fed or anything so this was very ethically done. <laughs> Wow. 
We even got to swim with the dolphins and how we did it was that we went one by one and just held on to the boat with one hand whilst it was still moving forward. In this way the dolphins didn't get spooked from us and didn't really even notice that we were there and we got to see them from up close under the water as well. So originally this evening we were planning on taking part of this baby turtle release thing that's really popular here in Puerto Escondido and I was quite looking forward to it but then I started doing a little bit more research on the spots that are nearby especially like the main spot where everyone goes basically. They claim to be like a place that rescues turtle babies and makes sure they get into the water safely etc. But first of all they get released still when it's like the daylight time so apparently like 80 to 90 percent of these baby turtles that are released you just see seagulls get them and eat them as normally baby turtles hatch during the night when it's a little bit safer and there's less birds and stuff and secondly what I understood that a lot of these baby turtles are like brought from elsewhere so they're basically poaching for these turtles and then they keep them for many days until they're released and because of this the baby turtles are really tired and confused and they don't even know which way to go for the sea and like their whole like navigation in their head gets a bit confused and stuff Stuff. so yeah even if it did sound like such a cute activity we've decided to not do that because I'm not sure if I ethically can support it now in the daytime I haven't been filming because I was honestly just editing also it gets really really hot in the daytime so it's better to escape the heat for a bit but now it's a little bit more doable again I feel like this video is turning into a food vlog but we are now at a little breakfast spot and today we'll actually be heading to our next destination but first let's enjoy some breakfast here they don't really have fresh juices as much here in Mexico they have what is called agua de fruta so it's water with fruit or juice so it's basically like juice but a bit more watery I think I prefer the regular juice more but it's still really good and refreshing 